Okay, Michael, um, what's the answer? Let's start with resigner, resigner. All right, resigner, resigner. R- resign, resigner, diner. All right, E. So, so uh, resigner versus resigner. So resigner, if A is a resigner, that means whenever A gets a red card, A resigns. Yes. And that would be a negative 20. Yep. But that's not going to be the answer, is it? It's c- because A doesn't always... A doesn't always get a red card. A sometimes gets a black card. If mm-hmm. A gets a black card, then a resigner, resigner, that means B is going to resign, and a, and a plus 10 will happen. Mm-hmm. So those are the two possibilities, and they're equally likely. So it's a minus 10 divided by 2, which is minus 5. Right. You are correct, sir. Shoo. All right. Which one do you want to do next? Uh, resigner, C here. Okay. So again... Oh, so that yeah, good. Uh, this is a good choice because now it's the same argument as before, except for when we end up in that far right node, and that means minus twenty in half the cases, plus thirty in half the cases, which is a plus ten divided by two or plus five. That's exactly right. Well done, Michael. Thanks. Okay, which one next? So holder resigner. So holder resigner. That means when A gets a card, A is going to hold the card. Mm-hmm. And that's true, red or black. Yep. And then then it's going to be B's turn, and B is going to... Oh, we're doing holder resigner, so it's going to resign. Mm-hmm. So, oh, well, interestingly, I think that takes us to those two leaves, both of which are plus 10. Yep. Because why does that make sense? Because B... Oh, because B doesn't get any... Infor- no. Right, 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 because it's independent of the card. You actually said that when you explained the rules. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's average of plus 10 and plus 10, which ought to be plus 10. It is, in fact, plus 10. Well done. Okay, what about holder seer? <sighs> All right, so that's the case where A holds. So we go down those branches, and we end up. We always end up in one of the blue circled states. Yep. And B sees half the time that leads to minus 40, half the time that leads to plus 30. So that's minus 10 divided by 2, which is minus 5 again? Yeah, that's exactly right. right. So that's correct, Michael. Um, and that's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, I, I really like this game. It's I didn't think you could have anything that had sort of poker essence and be this tiny. So, yeah, so we end up with this really nice little structure here. So I have a question for you. You ready for the question? I'm trying to guess what it is, but sure. Okay, here's my question. What is the value of this game? I was thinking that you might ask that. So can I can I step through it? Is that okay? Yeah, sure, go ahead. So A is choosing the first row or the second row. So if A chooses the first row and mm-hmm. then B chooses the column... Uh, then if it's the first row, B is going to choose the first column, so yep. it's A is going to get minus 5. Mm-hmm. The same story is going to go through on the bottom row. A, if A chooses the bottom row, then B is going to choose the C or position, which gets the minus 5. Right. So from this, so it seems like the, the value of the game is minus 5. But now let's do the same thing on the B column. So if mm-hmm. B resigns, now A gets to choose resigner or holder and, it get a, and gets a plus 10, and if B t- is a seer, then A chooses between resigner and holder and gets plus five. Yes. So then from this perspective, it's the value of the game is plus five. So so here's a case where it better not be that we could take a perfect information game and put it into a matrix and get this out. Because this is something that can't, like, it doesn't, it doesn't fit your theorem, right? We can't get the value of it by doing minimax or maximin. Exactly. The problem here is that once you move to hidden information... Minimax is not necessarily, and in this case definitely is not, equal to maximin. So von Neumann fails, as we all see Idiot. really knew he would. Yeah, what, is, what has he ever done for us anyway? His theorems and his computer architecture that rules the world. Anyway, so we seem to have a problem here. And the problem is that once we go to this hidden information, as I promised, complexity enters in, Michael, and now we can't do something very simple with the matrix, find a pure strategy that's going to work. It really is the case that A strategy depends upon what B will do, and B strategy depends upon what A will do. And if you don't already know what that's going to be, you don't actually have a value for the game. And in some sense, you can get every single one of these values. So there's got to be some around it. I feel like that's sort of what you'd expect in a game like this, right? So if because of the way that it is, if you know that I'm always a resigner, that I'm always going to what? <laughs> oh, that whenever, whenever I have a red card, I'm going to resign, then you know that if I don't resign, I have a black card, so you know that you should resign. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's one of these things where if I am really consistent 
and never bluff, say, then you can take advantage of me and vice versa. Like if you always respond the same way to when I act a certain way, then I can manipulate that. So it's kind of like this game of uh, this sort of mind game, right? Like I want you to not know that I know the thing that you don't know that I don't know. Right. But the problem is that I know what you know and I know that you know what I know and that I know that you know that I know what you know that I know. What you know, what I know, what you know, what I know. And Did so, you really think I didn't know that? <laughs> and so you end up in this terrible situation. But there was a key word that you used there, Michael, and it was consistent. And everything that we've talked about so far, pure strategies, is exactly the same thing as talking about consistency. So the way we're going to get around this is we're going to stop being consistent, or at least consistent in the same way. Okay? Yeah. And the cheat here is that we're now going to introduce, instead of pure strategies... Let's see, the opposite of pure is impure. Mixed. That's exactly oh. right. Contaminated. No. So rather than sticking with pure strategies, we're going to start using mixed strategies. 